started with singular points of a second order differential equations, function coefficients homogeneous. So as you can see, I have the form right here for you. So we have P of X with Y double prime, Q of X with Y prime, R of X with Y set it equal to zero. We're going to define first what is a singular point of this differential equation. So we're going to call that uh, XO is a singular point of this differential equation if P evaluated at XO is zero. That is our simple definition for what a singular point is. Now you can classify them. So your singular point could be uh, either regular, so we can call this as a regular singular point, or we can call it as irregular. And how do we know which one? Uh, we're going to be using the limit definition to uh, determine that. Let me give you that as well so we can start doing the problem very soon. So here is the limit definition for a regular singular point. So you're going to take two limits approaching that singular point. So here we have the limit. So the very first one we have is the limit as x is approaching xo, which is our singular point. Um, of x minus xo times q of x over p of x. So q is this, p is this. And if this limit is finite and another condition, if you take the other limit as x approaches xo of x minus xo squared of uh, times these guys, if this limit is also finite. See, so if these two limits are finite, then xo is um, we're going to claim that XO is a regular singular point. So regular singular point. And often uh, we can abbreviate this as uh, that's P. Okay, so uh, let's take a look at an example so that we can uh, determine this. Irregular, which just means that one of these limits fail or they give you infinity or negative infinity. So that means immediately you can... Uh, classify that singular point as irregular. All right, so we want to find all the singular points uh, and determine whether they're regular or irregular for this differential equation. All right, so I'm going to first label our uh, coefficients. So this is our function p of x, this is our function q of x, and 3x, which is the coefficient of y, we're going to call it r of x so that when we show those limits, we can use these specific functions. So let's first find singular points. So for singular points, we're going to take P of X. Let's see when it is zero. So for this problem, we have X squared times one minus X set it equal to zero. Then you'll see that X is equal to zero. That's uh, when this is equal to zero. And then we'll have X equals one. That's when this is equal to zero. All right, so we have two singular points for this differential equation. Now we're going to classify them. So let's compute the limit for each singular point. So first we'll start off with zero. So we're going to take the limit as X approaches XO of X minus XO times Q over P. We want to show that this is finite. And if it is finite, then we continue to the next limit, which will be the limit as x approaches xo. We write that first. We do x minus xo squared times r of x over p of x. So that, those are the limits needs to be finite in order to uh, claim xo equals zero as a regular singular point. All right, so let's substitute them. So we have the limit as x approaches zero of x minus zero, so we don't have to write this, we have to x times q, so let's go back. q is x minus two, and then um, p is x squared, one minus x. So here we can simplify, so we can cancel out a factor of x, so you'll have the limit as x approaches zero of x minus two over x times one minus x. All right, now if you, now algebraically, there's no way to simplify this expression, so we're going to have to take the limit. Now, if you try to do direct substitution, you can do it because we have one defined statement. So it is safe to say that this limit does not exist. Therefore, there's no need to compute the second limit. We can just simply say that our point XO 
uh, equals zero, this is an irregular singular point. So that will be our conclusion for zero. Now let's take a look at the next one. X y equals one. So now we'll do the same thing. Compute the limits. So we have x y equals one. We take the limit as x approaches one of x minus x y. That's one. So q is again x minus two. We have p that's x squared one minus x. Now before you simplify these two factors, you need to rewrite them because they are different by a negative one. So I rewrite it for you. We have the limit as x approaches one. We can take out a negative on the numerator. So it's one minus x, because when you redistribute, you get the origin. Okay, so that is gonna give us that. And then we have everything else just rewrite x squared times one minus x. And now I can cancel. So I'm gonna go ahead and cancel this with that. So we are left with limit as x approaches one, negative one times x minus two over x squared. Now we can take the limit, do direct substitution. So you have negative one times one minus two over one squared, which will simply give you a finite value, but uh, it'll be one, so if you calculate it. So this is a finite limit. All right, which means we go into the next limit and show that that's also finite. So now we need to show that the limit as x approaches one of x minus one squared of r of x. So r of x is negative three x, negative three x, p of x is x squared times one minus x. Then again, we try to simplify. So try to rewrite this. So since there's a square power, we can simply rearrange the term because it doesn't change the result. So you can write it like that and rewrite everything else. Now we can cancel a factor. So we can cancel one of this factor. We get the limit as x approaches one of one minus x times negative three x over x squared. And now we can take the limit to substitute one in place of x. We have one minus one times negative two times one over one squared. That will give you zero. So again, we have a finite value. Ha, huh. all right, so that means x all equals one is a regular singular point. So we can say therefore, x all equals zero is regular singular point of this differential equation. All right, um, I hope this idea makes sense. See you next time.